the air is stayed by the hum of voices. They whisper through the divides between each leaf and branch, as smooth and unnoticeable as the green beetle's slow crawl and watchful eye. Voices trickle down the transparent, curving body of the forest streams. Every caress the waters give to the rocks whose slippery surfaces are gowned with moss so green chew more and more away the cold stone. The vibration of every tone shakes the dome-top dew droplets from the blades of grass that in the night's closed walls grow still with no wind to blow, no sunlight to warm them. Nature thrives through these voices as these voices thrive through nature. Nature keeps counsel with all life and dances arm in arm with death. Life, death, nature, they resemble tapestries that hung on the walls of medieval halls. Tapestries of three intertwining serpents, each devouring the other, forming a cycle of continuous rebirth. The beetle chews the leaf, the bird swallows the beetle, the fox eats the bird. The leaf falls from the branch, the stream carries it down its rapids, the fish nip at it thinking it is an insect, and the birds catches the fish. Particles are born, angelical masks are worn, tragic ends in lives are torn, and everything is reborn. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Carlos.